Welcome back to Google Guru. This video is brought to you by Dido. Hi, I'm Courtney, Change Management Specialist at Dido. Welcome to this video on Google Apps Sync configurations and settings. Okay, you've successfully installed Gasmo, and you're looking at your Google Apps content and Outlook. But don't rush in too quickly. Even if you're a seasoned Outlook user, there are a few choices to make and settings to configure before getting started. First, consider your mailbox size. Consumer Gmail accounts are allocated up to 15 gigabytes combined Gmail, Drive, and Google Plus storage. If you're a Google Apps for Business user, that number doubles to 30 gigabytes. Gasmo, by default, does not cap the amount of data downloaded from Gmail to your Outlook mailbox. However, if you have an older PC or limited system resources, you may notice performance degradation in Outlook as your mailbox grows in size. If performance is an issue, we recommend choosing a mailbox size limit. To cap your mailbox size, locate the Google Apps Sync icon in your tray bar, right-click on the Google Apps Sync, and select Set Mailbox Limit. From here, you can choose a 1, 2, or 4 gigabyte limit. You can also choose which calendars to sync from the Google Apps Sync tray bar icon. Deselecting secondary calendars, which you rarely use, will also improve Outlook performance. Another time-saving step is to make your Gasmo profile the default Outlook profile. If you have more than one Outlook profile, Outlook will prompt you to choose a profile upon opening, which results in unnecessary clicks. To choose a default profile, go to the Start menu, Control Panel, Mail or Mail Settings, Show Profiles, click your Google Apps Sync profile, and choose Always Use This Profile. Then click Apply. Now let's shift our focus to the Outlook client itself. There are several key pieces which are not imported from Google when you install Gasmo. First, you'll need to recreate your signature in Outlook after creating your Gasmo profile. Next, if you are using filters in Gmail, you'll need to recreate these as rules in Outlook. Additionally, if you are accessing other email accounts in Gmail via POP or IMAP, you'll need to update these settings in Outlook. If you add additional accounts via POP or IMAP, they will appear as separate inboxes in Outlook. However, make sure that your Google Apps profile is the default, otherwise event invitations sent to your Google email address may not appear on the Outlook calendar. This concludes our Gasmo configurations and settings tutorial. Thank you for watching.